This isn't about trying to find the truth. They know what the truth is, they won't accept it. The concern is that they will use this report to justify additional ways to suppress the vote because at the end of the day, they lost. So our big story tonight, the final results of the 2020 election audit released by the Cyber Ninjas. Now yeah, crews there as groups of people gathered both inside and outside the Senate to hear the results that finally came in after months of work looking over more than 2 million ballots. And there were some big takeaways from the report. Our Melissa Blasius breaking those down for us tonight. Melissa. The biggest takeaway is that the audit confirms that Joe Biden did win here in Arizona by the vote count. That hand recount of the 2.1 million ballots in Maricopa County showed that Biden actually won by that count by an even larger margin against former President Donald Trump. However, the auditors also said that their investigation was inconclusive in many ways because there were multiple documents and data sets as well as, as questions that they still didn't get or get answered. And so that means that the controversy over the presidential election of 2020 keeps going here. The audit hand count of ballots actually increased Joe Biden's margin of victory by an extra 360 votes in Maricopa County. State Senate President Karen Fan acknowledged the similarities in the vote totals as she laid out her expectations for the audit. It's never been about overturning an election. This has never been about decertifying. This has never been about anything other than election integrity. With that, the Cyber Ninjas and their audit team launched into a three-hour presentation explaining everything they saw that seemed like an anomaly or otherwise confused them. People in the gallery frequently gasped at their statements. Um, usually the organization you're in the process of auditing um, cooperates and works with you. Um, and um, it would have been, you know, these yeah, would have been extremely helpful in order to, to get feedback. But on Twitter, Maricopa County officials were able to immediately debunk a number of their claims. Democratic leaders have called Cyber Ninja's efforts a fraud it, run by a firm with no experience in elections and fueled by partisan extremists. They've looked for bamboo fibers and Cheeto dust in the ballots. They've ignored the warnings and compromised Maricopa County's voting machines and are trying to put the tab on taxpayers. Arizona Secretary of State also weighing in about the ninja's claims that people could have double voted or that dead voter ballots were being counted. They're going off of names that are similar, birth years that are similar. Um, they don't have all the data points to connect. And again, we have systems in place that ensure that every voter is eligible and that uh, that they're not double voting. It simply didn't happen. Auditors did not find any conclusive evidence of fraud, but they did raise enough questions about Maricopa County's election department's accountability and security that some Republican legislators, Trump supporters, are now pushing for legislative hearings, new election laws, and even an investigation by the state attorney general. I would ask the legislature to put some teeth into law that compel them compel them to release evidence that may be indicative of fraud. What we have seen from the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors is absolutely disgusting. If there is evidence that uh, statutes were not followed in accordance with the, the law, uh, then that needs to be turned over to the Attorney General for him to do a further investigation because that would, somebody's breaking the law, it's a criminal act. Senate President Fan sent a letter to AG Mark Brnovich today asking him to look into the audit report, saying she was most concerned about mail-in ballot signature verification, maintaining accurate voter rolls, and election cyber security. To him. He's got the staff, he's got the money, I want him to do it. And the Arizona Attorney General telling us tonight, I will take all necessary steps that are supported by the evidence and where I have legal authority. Arizonans deserve to have their votes accurately counted and protected. Back out here live at the state capitol, the crowds have gone home. They're putting away the chairs, but there is more work to do in many of the legislators' minds. Uh, the Cyber Ninjas recommended about a dozen or so uh, changes to how elections run in the state, and so hearings could start on those issues in just a few weeks. Weeks reporting live at the state capitol. I'm Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona. Melissa, thank